vlog this. I'm about to vlog this. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Yo, what up everybody? Welcome to another vlog. Today we're in Morocco, Dakar. We're gonna try and go wind foiling. We got a few we had a we had a few. Yay! 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 Welcome to Dakla! <laughs> Hold on, we're here for the 2020 Slingshot Dealer Meeting. We had a few beers last night and got chatting to Wyatt Miller, who's the Slingshot brand manager for windsurfing, and he reckoned we can't windfoil. And we both have windsurfed, I don't know, maybe a dozen times. A dozen? What? I've probably done it only a dozen. How many uh, times have you done like it? Like three times? Okay. Four times in my life? Okay. We're going to give it a go today. I think it's going to be quite funny. Supposedly, it's easier to learn than kite foiling. So we're gonna put it to bed. Check it out. Hey dude. Yeah buddy. We got camels coming or what? The camels are showing up shortly. Yeah, that's what they say. On another note, me and Fox are gonna try and learn to wind foil today. Oh, I heard there was a, a little yeah. uh, argument turned into a bed at the bar last night. Exactly. Nice, exactly. we're making it happen this Yeah, morning. we're gonna make it happen. So I wanted to grab you and ask you a few tips. What's the tips? And also it might be good for those guys watching that might want to learn to wind foil, that maybe wind surf and want to give it a go. That's yeah, it needs like a little bit of light wind. It. It's good to uh, practice your up haul first because usually we have the never ever wind surf yeah, races. Yeah, because I can't instead. water start. So, so, so you're going to have to up haul. Okay. So you got to stay low, pull that sail up extra slow. Okay. And then don't try to muscle around. It's really a finesse sport. Yeah. The kite guys is just too bulky, man. You guys so you don't need to, be able to, to water start. Right? No, you can really. use a, bit, a board big enough so you can just up haul. Exactly. Just climb up on the board, up haul, sheet in very gently at first, slowly build your speed. Don't yeah. try to manhandle it. And then uh, step further and further back on the board, and the thing should just lift. Yeah. And for all those windsurfers out there that may be a bit scared of it, you know, the idea of being that high up and having a bad crash, what would you say to them? Uh, I mean, the crashes are nothing we all haven't done a thousand times before, and they usually happen at much slower speeds. You're only a foot higher off the water. And I've actually never heard of anybody who did anything more than just kick the stupid thing, but yeah. kick rocks all the time, right? Yeah. And one other thing, what attracted you to windfoiling? You know, like I'm sure there's lots of windsurfers that have done it for 20 years and they're not sure they're on the fence what is the reason to win foil over just winter well when you're hanging at the beach and all the kite guys look like they're having fun on their 12s and 14s and you know riding a huge sail and barely eking it out just isn't that much fun but i can just use my normal wave sail when the kiters are on 14s and throw on the foil board and i'm zipping around just like everybody else cool so yeah light wind wind foiling is the future of windsurfing i think it's coming up you just yeah. guarantee your session yeah. Strap on the foil and go. And we'll be the test dummy to actually explain just how hard slash easy it is. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Yeah, thanks. It's dude. gonna be good, but let's do it. Windsurf. Oh yeah. We're giving them. We're gonna give them a half chance here. We're gonna put the big wing on instead of the really small fast one. That one is quite small. It would just be cruel otherwise. I'm not sure the. There you go, 
was nothing. <laughs> Famous last words. After this, I'm going to become a pro windsurfer. <laughs> or I'll never be allowed to take the windsurf stuff out again. Impressions. People are gonna win for that. Yeah. Well, big fail for me. I fucking couldn't do it at all. Way too difficult. Uh, mad respect for all the Windsor foilers out there, but probably would have been a little bit easier if I had actually ever windsurfed in my life uh, and learned how to do that first. Um, but, whatever. Sam's a little bit more, he's a better athlete than I am, so he'll probably get it and make me look really bad, so. Yeah, I look forward to that shame. Here he goes. Small. Oh. We've been doing a lot of swimming that we've been doing. Which is what I what I was doing right there. That's exactly what I was to feel it then. We're not going along. It's hard work though. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 I need to get my breath back. So I actually got up on the foil. This is my windsurfing skills a week. So just got back from our wind foil experience and pretty knackered actually. Yeah, destroyed. It was really hard work, partly because we had to spend the first third of our session just learning to quickly wind surf before we could then attempt to actually wind foil. So I'd say we both did it for what, like 45 minutes each? Yeah. Just completely knackered. Just getting up and down, up and down falling, but... Manipulating the sail like yeah. in the water was actually like the hardest part I fought. Yeah. But I would add that I think it's because we can't windsurf more than the foil. I felt like as soon as I figured out getting up on the board holding the sail properly, I popped up on the foil and I probably did maybe, I don't know, 10 meters foiling. So like divide that by two for how I was going to say 20 and I divided it quickly by two before I said it. So, I mean, I did it. I felt like I got the feeling both ways a couple of times by the end. But yeah, definitely not being able to windsurf very well didn't help. But it was fun, I enjoyed it. It actually did actually make me think maybe I should conquer it and learn it because it was quite a cool feeling. Definitely yeah, did just give me the bug. Now you have to see if Wyatt's willing to give you free winter equipment. <laughs> yeah, maybe this video will be good enough. To yeah, give maybe. Me Give me a, bit, give me a board. Yeah, perfect. See how many kiteboarders convert back to being windsurfers. Yeah. I don't know. But it was fun. Another good day in the desert. Peace Later. out, guys.